Disney's Magic Kingdom is one of the most visited theme parks in the entire world. Located in the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, this park is really what started the theme park revolution. Many other iconic and world-renowned theme parks would soon open after the Magic Kingdom. The park recently celebrated its 50th anniversary and Magic Kingdom is home to many world-renowned attractions. So with that, it is time for me to rank every single operating ride inside the park. But before we get there, if you haven't already yet, check out my last video where I rank every single ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now let's get straight into it. Prince Charming's Regal Carousel is a classic carousel attraction in the heart of the Magic Kingdom. There's not much to say about this ride since it's just a classic carousel, but it's an iconic attraction for the park and one of the greatest family rides of all time. Dumbo is an aerial carousel attraction and it was one of the first ever aerial carousels in the world. Dumbo is an iconic attraction, but just like the carousel, it's very simple compared to the other attractions in the park. The Magic Carpets of Aladdin is another aerial carousel located across the park. The only reason why I like this more than Dumbo is because I think the theme and look of the ride is much cooler than Dumbo. The Mad Tea Party is a classic teacup that's themed to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party from Alice in Wonderland. While the theming is nice, this is one of my least favorite teacup attractions because it's very hard to spin and unfortunately they trim the cups hard once you start to get momentum. The Tomorrowland Speedway is an antique car type attraction around Tomorrowland. This ride used to be fun but due to the construction of the Tron roller coaster, the layout was shortened significantly. Plus, the gas pedal on this ride might be the hardest pedal to push down on. It gives you a workout, so maybe once Tron opens, this ride will be a lot better. Goofy's Barnstormer is a Vacoma Junior coaster, and if you're a roller coaster enthusiast, then I am 80% sure this was your first ever roller coaster, or one of your first five roller coasters. For me, this was my first, so this ride is super nostalgic for me. While I do miss the old Toontown theme of this ride, it will always have a special place in my heart for being my first roller coaster. Winnie the Pooh is a classic dark ride in Fantasyland. This dark ride takes you through the Winnie the Pooh storyline as you go through Owl's Treehouse, the world of Heffalumps and Woozles, and a massive flood. This ride is fun. However, it is pretty short and the technology isn't the best on this ride. However, it is still a great attraction for families to experience. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is a Vacoma Custom Swinging Mine Train. This unique coaster is the latest roller coaster to open at the Magic Kingdom, and it is easily the most popular ride in the entire park. The attraction is fun, and the theming and landscaping for the attraction looks really nice, but the ride itself isn't that special, and the coaster sections are very short. And while it is a fun ride, it is never worth that two hour wait. It's a Small World is a boat ride that is known around the world. This attraction could be the most iconic attraction in the entire world. And while it may be outdated compared to some of the other modern boat rides, it still is an awesome ride loaded with animatronics from start to finish. I do really enjoy Small World personally, and I feel that this attraction gets a bit too much hate. Peter Pan's Flight is a dark ride that takes you through the Peter Pan movie. This little dark ride is really fun as you get to see a lot of scenes from Peter Pan in real life. Soaring over the city is one of the best scenes in any dark ride and even though it may have a short experience, it is still a really fun attraction to experience. Astro Orbiter is another aerial carousel at Magic Kingdom. However, it uses narrower trains and soars above Tomorrowland. Hop in the elevator and climb on top of the People Mover station, board your ship, and soar around Tomorrowland. This ride gives you some of the best views of the Magic Kingdom, and if you stay low to the ground, you'll honestly get some good laterals. This ride is an absolute blast, and a night or a sunset ride on the Astro Orbiter is one of the best experiences at the Magic Kingdom. Jungle Cruise is an iconic boat ride at Adventureland that takes you through a jungle. On your cruise, you'll encounter lots of animals like tigers, lions, elephants, gorillas, and much more. 
Plus, you have a live skipper narrate your entire journey, and that adds so much to the overall experience. Plus, the recent refurbishment this ride received was really well done as it added lots of new cool props to the attraction. This is a classic ride, and it is still one of the best rides in the park. Voyage of the Little Mermaid is an Omnimover dark ride that takes you through the movie, The Little Mermaid. This ride is absolutely incredible. Disney took an old concept and made it one of the best rides in the park. The sets are really well done and some of the effects really stand out for such a simple dark ride. The animatronics are astonishing and the ride is a perfect length. It truly is one of the hidden gems of the Magic Kingdom. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin is an interactive shooting dark ride. This ride is so much fun. Like I said in my last video, I absolutely love shooting dark rides, and Buzz Lightyear was the one I grew up with, so this one holds a special place in my heart. Plus, it's one of the only shooting dark rides I learned all the secrets to, so it's fun to mess with my friends when I get the max score in the middle of the ride. But besides that, the sets are incredible, and the ride is super fun. Big Thunder Mountain is a custom aero mine train at Frontierland. One of the most popular roller coasters in the world, and one of the best rides of the Magic Kingdom. While I do think the coaster itself is a little overrated, it still is a fantastic ride with incredible rock work and set designs. Plus, this mine train is long, as it includes three different lift hills with long coaster sections following. Easily one of the best rides in the resort. Who doesn't love the Pirates of the Caribbean? This ride is another boat ride, and even though the layout and design may not compare to the other versions of this ride, it still is awesome to see the massive sets and tons of animatronics in this short little boat ride. Plus, the smell makes the entire ride, and it is without a doubt one of the best rides in the park. The Tomorrowland Transit Authority, aka The People Mover, is an open monorail type powered attraction that takes you around Tomorrowland and through some of its iconic rides like Space Mountain and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. This ride not only gives some incredible views of Tomorrowland, but it gives you great views of the entire Magic Kingdom as a whole. Plus, all the cool hidden details on this ride truly stand out, like the Wacky Beauty Shop and the original Epcot model. This ride is super relaxing as well, and it really is one of the best rides in all of Walt Disney World. The Haunted Mansion is another Omnimover dark ride, but this one in particular is easily one of the best dark rides in the world. The fact that after years of riding this attraction, I still get an eerie vibe when I walk in the building, and that really makes it a one-of-a-kind attraction. The scenes and theming are incredible, and the narrator adds so much to the ride. And the soundtrack is amazing, and it's also a long ride. Haunted Mansion really is one of the best. Space Mountain is an aerodynamics custom roller coaster, and in my opinion, by far the best roller coaster in all of Walt Disney World. Its lighting effects really make me feel like I'm in another world. Plus, this ride gives four deadly pops of ejector airtime, which adds so much to the ride. I love the seats on this ride mainly because it feels like I'm lying down. Plus, it has an amazing soundtrack, and it's actually a pretty long ride. Space Mountain really is a one of a kind roller coaster. But one ride as an overall experience takes the cake for my favorite ride at the Magic Kingdom. Splash Mountain is a log flume type water ride that truly is one of the best of its kind. Its long layout with four large drops is enough to make it one of the best rides in the park. Plus the theming, soundtrack, animatronics, rock work, smell, etc. makes it something truly special. I know this ride is going to get overhauled soon, and I will miss the classic theme, but this version of Splash Mountain will always have a special place in my heart, and it is my personal favorite ride in the Magic Kingdom. So, there we have it. Every ride at Disney's Magic Kingdom ranked. Let me know if you agree with this list in the comment section down below, and comment your rankings of the rides in the Magic Kingdom. And make sure you stay tuned for my next video, Every Ride at Walt Disney World Ranked by You. That's right, over the past couple of weeks, I've ranked my favorite rides in every Disney World park. I even have a video ranking every ride at Walt Disney World. But now, it's time for you all to vote for yours. I did this with Universal a while back, so check out that video if you want to know how this works. So, click my Google form in the description down below, put in your email, and vote for your favorite attraction in four different categories. 
to make sure you see the results make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out my podcast on the hunt in the description down below finally if you ever need any non-copyrighted off-ride footage or povs check out my second channel tph productions in the description down below and as always this was hunter from theme park hunting i'll see you guys later and follow the thrill Thank you.